when one thinks of the Viking Age, it's easy to jump to the usual images of Viking raids and plundering. But as with many other stories, it's actually a lot more complicated than that. Indeed, halfway through what we call the Viking Age, Christianity became an increasingly important part of the emerging identity of the newly forged Kingdom of Norway. And around the 10th century, you might find it not too surprising that those who had turned to the new faith wanted to have that fact firmly on display. Beside newly built churches, well-worn pathways, and perhaps even visible from the sailing routes along the coast. But how to achieve this? How to show those around you that you have cleaned out the old gods and brought in Christ as the one true God? It's important to make a good impression, isn't it? Perhaps part of the answer lies on the doorstep here. Who better to turn to than our nearest neighbours with over 400 years experience in this type of thing? Scotland and Ireland, places where many from these Norwegian shores had already settled and become Christian. You'll be really uh, wanting a big stone cross like this uh, as a status symbol. Malcolm McAllister is a design consultant from a church in Scotland. And it makes no mistake about your allegiance to the big man. And it's not easy to burn down either. Oh, I can give you lots of great design ideas. Uh, I can do you a really good deal on uh, maybe a Celtic design. Very popular these days that everybody's raging for it. You like my uh, hood? Yeah, I picked it up while I was up further north. Real genuine Norwegian design. Whoa, classic. Timeless even. But in West Norway, a stone cross is not an easy thing to make. That's why we're here today in Hulestad, where there is just the answer that everyone's looking for. Here in Hulestad, we've been making millstones for nearly 200 years now. The local quarry owner tells us that the expertise is here to meet the demands of this great new project. The coming of uh, Christianity uh, to Hulestar here is no problem at all. Uh, in fact, it's um, pretty much a business opportunity. Pretty soon, the quarries of Hulestar began to turn out crosses, both large and small. Some taking the design ideas from our neighbours across the water, and some trying to create a new style for the times, distinctly our own. The scale of the production was impressive, and quickly crosses appeared all over West Norway. All this from this tiny community of Hulista. In fact, here we find one of the earliest examples of industrial product diversification anywhere in Europe. In a way, the change to making stone crosses here was as radical in its time as Apple making its iPhone today. The stone crosses that we still see standing today are a legacy of times of incredible change. And in important respects, they are just as much a Viking footprint as any.